Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Soupball for the six four. Welcome back to <laughs> Let's Play SpongeBob for the Battle for the Bikini Bottom. I'm here trying to um traverse the dangerous swamps. I don't know. Um, either way, I'm trying to get through this darn level. Okay, come on. Where am I supposed to go? Right here. Okay. I think it should be something else. It should be something else, and I'm missing it. I know I am. Okay, hang on. First things first, let's get back to land. And I'm dead. Of course I am. Uh, this is gonna be the first sequence of the game, guys. Just me, multiple, multiple dying. Like, multiple dying, getting hurt again. Like, literally, what do you do in order to rise up these vines and everything like that? Oh, jeez. Please go away. Like, do these vines actually do something? Because the game does say to, um... Where is... Okay. This one. No, I don't think he actually does something. Bad. Okay. There we go. Let me see. Is it raising plants? Because it looks like this is supposed to be like raised up at the very least. Is there a button for me to do that? Oh, come on! F you! F you! Like, I really strongly feel like this is supposed to be something. Okay, hang on. Let me be SpongeBob for a minute. Let me get out of this guy's way. And then let me just put this machine up right here with a, a missile. Easily take him out. Hello, Rama. Pretty can't take it. There we go. Hmm. In all honesty, I think I can just turn in some of these shiny stuff to. Bubble Is there anything time. over here? I mean, not that I see or notice. Oh, hello, the next section's over there. You mean I can't get through? Unless I get through this, um... Get through this part of the game? This is retarded. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. We just gotta chill. I just need everything to stop spawning back in when I die, honestly, though. Like, this leaf needs to rise. There's something. You've just met the Spongenator. Spongebob, Division Control, go on to the show. Hey, is there, like, literally no buttons? Yeah. Yeah, let me... Be Patrick for a moment. Yeah, I saw a walkthrough a little bit. Hang on. Okay, hang on, guys. I gotta watch. Okay, you know what? Um, Let me pause right here and let me just restart everything as soon as I get back into it. Um, let me watch this walkthrough. I'm sorry, I've had to walk, go through a walkthrough. Yeah. 
cool. Okay, guys, I didn't find that. I found it. Hang on, let me start my phone timer. Get back into it. Um, just letting seconds couple. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I and now I know I know what to do. I press the button, cause the vine over here to grow. So now I should be able to complete this level. All because I needed to push a button that I did not even know that existed. But honestly, it's kind of my own fault. I should have been exploring this game a little bit more. But what it is, what it is. I got rid of some some enemies around here. Oh jeez. Okay. Scared me for a minute and then Play as a whistle. Oh jeez, 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 jeez. Okay, and then whoop. Okay. There we go. I press yeah, no, I press this one button over here that helped this vine grow. And I was able to make it. So, here we go. And this should be the hardest tiki out of the way. Ugh, made it! Oh, okay. I did it. I just need to get one more tiki. Oof, okay, Alpha, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. I'm super nervous right now, guys. But I can do this. I just gotta believe in the heart of the cards, the heart of the buttons, I guess you can say, and get through this. I've been playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff as of lately. Um, like, I've been playing Dungeon Dice Monsters, um, really fun game. Uh, it was out for the Game Boy a while back. And, um, yeah, it, it was just a super fun game. I really wish that I actually adapted into, um, into something really, um, really cool. Like, um, I, after playing Dungeon Dungeons Dice Monsters again, it was like, um, it was a surprise twist, and honestly, a good surprise twist, of course. Um, because, let me tell you, the game was actually very creative. The mechanics were good. Um, I guess the only thing I have criticism of Dungeon Dice Monsters was that it was tedious to get some of the die out. Uh, well, crest. Crest for the die. You see, um, in order to make an action within Dungeon Dice Monsters, you guys had to um, roll the di roll the dice and they will have symbols on them. The symbols would be um, would have different actions. Uh, movement, attack, magic, trap, and I Oh, defend. Yeah, I forgot. There was defend as well. Um, also defend. What you had to do was make sure you roll the correct die that way you can get the great good amount, good amount of action and everything. <laughs> Robot go boom. Okay. All right, guys, we're doing this. So far, so good. Okay, you, 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 boom, boom, need to go away, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, hang on, now I gotta wait a little bit. Um, but anyways. Yeah, and, um, I know there's actual dungeon dice monsters, um... Okay, there we go. Let's see. Okay, this is where we found in a camper. Okay, and this way leads to the third tiki. And this is the place where I started everything again. <sighs> we can do this, guys. We can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Believe in yourself and believe in the heart of the cards. The heart of the dice. And uh, and I, I had I think I uh, in all honesty I believe that um. Dungeon Dice Monsters could have been the game that surpasses Yu-Gi-Oh! If it was built to today's modern age, honestly. Um, because let me tell you, um, there was an actual Dungeon Dice uh, Monsters like thing that was built up for um for the game. There we go.
Okay. Okay, you're okay. Uh oh, this one goes boom. Okay, it's okay if this one goes boom. Okay. Let's take it on face first. Okay. Hard as a rock. We did it. We did it. Jesus! The suffering's over! The suffering's over! Well oh my done, God. son. Next time I need to round up customers for the Krusty Krab, I'll give you- Why would the customers want to be me? <sighs> You're a strange one. You okay, anyways. I did it. Okay, we did it. We did it. Anyways, um, all because I was done talking about Dungeon Dice Monsters. Oh my goodness, the love of games for me. But anyways, I actually do want to continue talking about Dungeon Knights oh, Monsters for the rest of this episode, if you guys don't mind. Um... <sighs> um... Anyways, uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, there's an act- there was an actual board game, too. Um, it was a really cool- also cool to look at, because, um... Uh, I read a Reddit post where someone actually picked up the um, figurines, the whole dice set and everything like that. And um, it sounded interesting, honestly. And... Whew, excuse me. Um, and I, I really wish it actually did kick, to kick off. It would have made been a good, successful game. Hello there, Barnacle... Uh, <laughs> Okie dokie! Okay, let's um, get Spongebob up in here. Absolutely obliterate that jellyfish. Okay, and then now we can talk Hey kid, to I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Sure, Barnacle Boy, what do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals that power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me, it's worth finding these crystals. I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up. Well, then you rest those super <clears throat> bones of yours. I'll get searching for these. Okay, let's get... Okay, so we got another task. Not only do we have to look for sponge... I mean, look for the campers, but also look for uh, Barnacle Boy's bunions. I mean, his <laughs> crystals. Nice bunions. Don't look at me like that. Okay, let's see. We got one crystal right there. Six. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Oh wait, this is something push, for Patrick. Push, push, push. Is it? No. Okay. Yeah, no. This is something. Else. This is for Patrick. How do I get that to open? Hmm. Oh, do I have to switch over to Patrick? That's stupid. That's lame. Ah. <sighs> well, at least it's right here. A bit tedious, no? Okay. Okay, so... Just pick up this tiki and throw it on there. Unless that's for something else. Pretty sparkly thingy. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, this is definitely for SpongeBob. Okay. Okay, let me get these crystals real quick. Okay, I got six of these bad boys. I just gotta look for the rest of these. Okay, I just gotta go back and switch over to SpongeBob. That way I can do that. And I'm gonna continue this next part in the episode, guy. Okay? Um, this other part in the next part. 
Um, so thank you everyone so much for watching. If you guys like the video, then you know to hit the thumbs up button, share the video as well, guys. Please share the video, it's gonna help my channel grow. It's also gonna get my videos out there. So please share the video. Also, guys, if you guys wanna share your thoughts on the video, go ahead and comment down in the comment section down below. Once you guys do all that, you guys let me content and you guys wanna see more, hit the word subscribe button. Also, don't forget that lovely little bell to receive all notifications. I am Super Alpha 64. This has been SpongeBob for the Battle for the Bikini Bottom. Peace out and God bless you all.